Hi, I'm Stu, and welcome back to another Luma Fusion Quick Tip. So, what have I got for you today? Well, I've got my background video blurred out. Above that, I've got my main video inside my iPad graphic. Above that, I've got the iPad graphic itself. And then, audio wise, I've got my voiceover for the tutorial, and then I've got the background track in terms of the music. So, I've basically got three tracks that I need to cut. The background, uh, music and the iPad Pro, I kind of want to leave where they are. So that leaves me with a little bit of a dilemma when I need to basically trim up any of the silence that I have just from speaking, thinking at the same time. So for example, if I line up here and make a cut, it chops through everything. We don't really want that. So the next thing to do is you're going to have to start selecting clips. So yes, I can do them one at a time. So I can cut that one, move up, cut that one, move down, cut that one, and then move along and repeat the process. Select middle, top, bottom. But that is an awful lot of steps and it's very, very laborious. So I don't recommend you doing that either. Yes, we've got the option now of doing multiple selections. So let's take a look at that. We tap the multiple selection option and we make a cut. I'll we'll first of all select our three clips. We can cut here. We can cut here. Now you could effectively keep going along the clip. There's nothing wrong with that. For example, I could cut here, cut here. But I personally like to avoid doing that where possible and remove the segment and play it back to make sure I've got the cut right. But the problem with doing that is that the next three clips are still selected and your previous three clips are not selected and if you select them you've then got to go through deselecting the rest and then you might miss like i just did there so that kind of defeats the purpose as well because basically you are having to do multiple taps to get where you want to go so what is the quick tip well if you switch off multiple selects go over to your left hand side and tap on lock layer for the background music and for the iPad graphic, whatever layer you don't want to edit, you can now have in a deselected position, in other words, nothing actually tapped upon. So just tap away from it, everything's deselected. And you can now go along, cut out what you want, and you're doing way less taps. And this is a much faster way of getting through your edit and getting rid of, the, rid of the clips that you don't want. You can see I can whiz through and then if I want to I can play back in gallery. Once you've done that it'll tell you this and it sounds good and then I can just keep working my way along finding the dead air, cutting it out and just removing it. I want a big piece there a little bit of room so much less taps much faster at cutting through loads and loads of video now in doing this this actually creates another problem to do with multiple selections if i actually just do this last wee bit here i'm not going to bore you with cutting the whole video tutorial but there's enough there for me to now demonstrate the next issue that you're going to come across and it's very easily sorted. Now, the multiple selects is a new thing and you can basically tap and drag, start picking up selections. But as you can see, it becomes awkward and you sometimes don't catch it and then you want to be able to pick up all of those videos if let's say at the end of the clip you want to delete them. Because I use this particular layout with the iPad clip and the music at a certain length over and over again for video tutorials. It saves time. And I've also got, if you've noticed, another video layer. I'll just show you that with my animation. Make it visible up top and then further along you've got my social medias down the side. 
So what I tend to do with them is lock them off and make them invisible. And that way I can't chop into them. And they're there. But I need to get rid of all these clips afterwards. Once I basically exported the video and I've um, got my final cut, I want to get rid of the video clips in the middle and move on to the next video. So I can use the multiple select option, click and drag, and start selecting the three clips. So they say it's tricky to pick them up, but you may not have noticed up here on your scrubby timeline, you've got two white in and out bars. And if you grab the right hand one, you can then work your way along to the end and that picks everything up for you automatically. Then you can just hit the trash can and your timeline is clear. You can see it goes all the way back to the beginning. Like so. So if you're doing what I'm doing, which is you've got a bit of a template on the go and you're doing multiple clips for an event or something, this is a great way of being able to select quickly by using this little scrubby option. And I'll go back to it again. If you didn't want to select as much, you could trim it back to here. And that just gives you a more stealthy selection. Obviously you can use it for moving clips and co copying and pasting and stuff like that, all that good things. All those good things as well so that's the quick tip for today is cutting and also doing selecting a little bonus selection of the clips using the little selection in and out at the scrubby slider